to get more mm. for, 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 for sports betting, uh, finding themselves now, placing bets, and now we can pay them out. Mm. Namza, before you continue with the company profile, I just because mm. I'm trying to get an idea of your background and where you started off and how you fell in love with betting. Mm. With regards to what, mm. you, what you studied in school, I mean, was there interest in sports? No, not ever. Really? Not even. Mm. So there was an interest in numbers. Ah, Max. makes sense. Ah. Yes. So your your sports You're the practice betting, makes perfect person. <laughs> <laughs> your, your sports betting is pretty much the guys who like to um, to, to to trade um, forex and trade um, uh, currencies. Yes, they understand sports betting. So you can get guys who literally have absolutely no idea who Real Madrid is, no idea who Pirates is, but they will still play sports uh, play sports bet because what they do is they look at the, the algorithms and the likelihood or probability of events happening. Mm -hmm. That's what sports betting is. Ah. So for me, it was the love of numbers. Um, and over and above that, there was an opportunity that came up, I mean, um, to, to actually get a license registered. Um, and that's how we uh, I, I became involved with Clickbait. Yeah. yeah. Now, w with regards to your industry or all the other industries, I know a black a lot of black women struggle with. Uh, some have said to me they struggle with regards to uh, you know funding. Mm -hmm. Did you have any you know problems starting up your business? Um, so we did have um, some funding that came through from um, our uh, the original founder of the business, which was um, Craig Fenter. He was previously with. Um, Altec Group, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I've also had to raise some some of my own funding, so that that's some of the things, and you you'll realize that funding isn't an easy thing to do. You know, mm. you, you almost have to look through, d dig deep into your resources. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. to find funding. So it, it is. I think it's one of the biggest challenges that we have in this country, amongst many other things, is that um, for for new entrepreneurs or first first time entrepreneurs, we don't have a culture of um, of, of funding or of, of capital raising. Um, and when you go, even when you go home and say, look, I need to raise funding for this particular project, they're like, ah, stay no in the job. Yeah. Yeah. Job. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, yeah. Don't do this. Be comfortable. comfortable. Be exactly. Be yeah. exactly. Yeah. But we, we need to break the, the barriers and say, look, it can be done. It's not impossible. It absolutely can be done. So you're a bit of a powerhouse, Nomzama. You're also an executive director um, in charge of research and advisory services. Uh, for Empowerdex. That's true. Educate us. What is Empowerdex? So Empowerdex is a uh, ratings company. We do PE ratings, economic and empowerment uh, research. Mm -hmm. um, and my role there is to be the head of research and advisory services. Well, how mm. did you get to being head of research? Let's many talk years. about yeah, many, <laughs> many years of, of years what? Training experience. Yes. and experience yeah. Yeah. working yeah. for Empowerdex. So I've, I've been working for Empowerdex since 2006, so it's been a, a long journey for me with Empowerdex. Yeah. Um, and I was then appointed head of research um, three or four years ago, and um, I've been at it um, that long, and I'm still with the company now. Well, we're still going to be chatting a little bit more with Nomza Mokaba, the director of ClickAbet. Is it ClickAbet.com? ClickAbet.co.za? ClickAbet.co.za. She is the director of that company, and um, an interesting field to operate in. Absolutely. Certainly male-dominated as well, right? Very much. Here we go. 20 after 11, we're not only talking to her about her career, but we're also going to get to know her through her music. So every Wednesday on Spotlight, our, our guest is the one that selects and invades the playlist. We're going to be playing 40, uh, four of your favorite songs. Okay. And you're going to be telling us why these are your favorite songs. Yep. We'll be right back. Okay.